Time for another lab. Let's work with the various network manager tools. Now, previously with Debian and Ubuntu, there's just one tool and that's all you use. There's one configuration file. But with network manager, there's lots of tools that you can work with. So we'll start with the desktop and show the GUI based tools. And then we'll move into the text based tools in the terminal. Okay, so I'm going to do this at my Debian client. All right. And the first tool that you can work with is the settings. So if we click on our main menu on the top right here and go to the settings sprocket, you can get to your networking section, or you can go right here to wired. Now this again is a gnome desktop. That's G N O M E. So this is the most common desktop for Linux, but it's not the only one. One way or another, you'd want to get to your settings and ultimately get to the wired settings for this virtual machine. So when we click on that, we'll see our wired connection is indeed connected. It's turned on. If we click on the sprocket for that, that'll bring up the window for that connection. It gives us the details like the IP address, the DNS and so on. And if we wanted to make modifications to the IP address, we could go to IPv4 and change that here. If we wanted to obtain an IP address automatically, we would set it to automatic DHCP. If we wanted a static address, we'd set it to manual, which is what it's set to here. And you could modify the address, the net mask, the gateway, the DNS, routes, and so on right here in the GUI. Now, the problem here is that different Linux distributions use different desktops. You have GNOME, KDE, XFCE, uh, you have Cosmic, there's a bunch of them. So it might look different when you go to the settings of each of these. So you have another option here. And if we go back to our terminal, there is a GUI based configuration program for Network Manager that'll work across the board and look the same. And it's called nm-connection-editor. Okay. And when you bring that up, you get a window that says network connections. We can go to wired connection one, double click it, and that'll bring up the editing page for that. And you could go to IPv4 settings and make the changes here as you need to. It looks suspiciously similar to the GNOME settings, but this will look the same regardless of what desktop you're using in Linux. That's NM connection. Okay, so those are a couple of the GUI options for working with your network connections when you have a network manager based system. Now let's get into the text based or command line options. The first one is NMTUI. And that's Network Manager tab-based user interface. And if we press Enter for that, you'll see the TUI. Okay, so this is old school. You use the tab keys and the arrow keys to get around the menu systems. So, for example, we could say edit a connection, press Enter. And for wired connection one, I could tab over to edit and arrow down to edit. Press Enter. And then we could make our modifications here as we see fit. If we need to change the IP address, the gateway, I'm just tabbing through all of these, right? I don't wanna make any changes, so I'm gonna escape out and then tab down to back and then tab down to quit. Actually, I'm arrowing down to quit and quit out of there. Some Linux systems don't come with NMTUI anymore, so you might have it, you might not. I don't really prefer using that. I'd rather go with the NMCLI tool. So NMCLI is awesome. That is the network manager command line interface. So if you just type NMCLI and press enter, you'll get information about your system. So for example, ENS3, that's the Linux name of our network interface card. Wired connection one, that's the network manager name of that network interface card. So now we have two names. More on that a little bit later when we get more into NMCLI. We see it's an ethernet connection. We see our IP address. 
we see the gateway and we see the DNS server IP being used by this interface. So NMCLI gives a lot of information in one screen. However, that's just the analysis side of NMCLI. You can use NMCLI to edit your networking connections and you can make modifications to them based on whatever you want to do when it comes to wired, wireless, radio connections, ethernet settings, IP settings, and more. So NMCLI is extremely powerful and it's a tool that you definitely want to use. You can also open the NMCLI shell. There's an interactive NMCLI version, which allows you to do lots of changes to your network interfaces in one shot. And we're gonna show all of that in a separate lesson where we work in NMCLI. So those are the big tools so far. And we said that included settings, and you can see a screenshot example of that here. NM connection editor, which is also in the GUI. NMTUI, which is command line, and NMCLI, which is the best command line tool to use because it's so powerful and so functional. And most of the time, when you connect to servers, you're going to do it either via the console or SSH, but it's going to be all command line based. So you may as well use that command line tool, NMCLI.